Good morning children. Today we are going to start the third chapter of geography that is our changing earth. In this chapter we are going to see that how the earth is continuously changing. And this changes actually we cannot see with our open eyes but these changes are occurring continuously. For example uh, the land on which we are standing is also continuously shifting to one to another place but these movements are very slow that we cannot see with our open eyes with our eyes we cannot see that whether it is moving or not we think it is very stable and uh, therefore uh, it is not changing but it is continuously changing the land masses are uh, moving from here to there as well as uh, all the various forces are acting on the earth which are continuously changing the upper part as well as inner parts of the earth so let us try to understand that how the earth is continuously changing so we are beginning from the introduction of the chapter the lithosphere is broken into a number of plates known as the lithospheric plates you will be surprised to know that these plates move around very slowly just a few millimeters each year this is because of the movement of the molten magma inside the earth the molten magma inside the earth moves in a circular manner as shown in the activity so you know the lithosphere is broken this earth's upper part that is called as the lithospheric plates are also continuously moving and these movements we cannot see with our eyes because these movements are very very slow just a few millimeters each year very slow that the movements are taking place very slow uh, because in every year these are moving only millimeter means uh, less than uh, one part of the centimeter as you know 100 millimeters means uh, one centimeter so from this millimeters few millimeters only the earth is continuously changing so this is because of the movement of the molten magma inside the earth you know very well inside the earth the the, the in, inside the earth uh, you know very well below the lithospheric plates there are there is a molten magma so this molten magma is continuously moving inside the earth and therefore the lithospheric plates are also moving accordingly and the molten magma inside the earth moves in a circular manner it moves in a circular manner as shown in the activity so as you can see here in this activity Take a small colored paper, paper, uh, paper uh, pellet and, but, and put it in a beaker half filled with water. Place the beaker on a tri tripod. Stand and heat it. As the water warms up, you will observe that the pap paper pellet is moving upward along with the warm layers of water and then sinks back along the along with the water layers of water uh, the molten magma inside the earth moves in similar manner so as you can see if you will put the water into the paper pellet you will um, and uh, then you will start to heat the water from below you will come to know that paper pellet is continuously moving upside and downside in a circular manner why this is happening this is happening because of the uh, sir, uh, the moving of the movement of the water in a circular manner inside this uh, beaker and uh, in the same way 
the molten magma is also moving inside the earth in a circular manner because and due to this moving uh, moving molten magma the earth is also continuously moving or the lithospheric plates are also continuously moving these lithospheric plates are broken at various places and therefore it is continuously moving and the changes are occurring on the surface of the earth so here we have understood that how the lithospheric plates are continuously moving so the movement of these plates cause changes on the surface of the earth the earth movements are divided on the basis of the forces which cause them the forces which act in the interior of the earth are called as the endogenic forces and the forces that work on the surface of the earth are called as exogenic forces so the movement of the plates causes changes on the surface of the earth that means as the so the the lithospheric plates are continuously moving uh from few millimeters these movements of the plates are causing the changes on the surface of the earth the earth movements are divided on the basis of uh, forces which which cause them actually uh, the movement of the earth are of different kind some of the earths are inside the earth. some of the forces are acting inside the earth and some of the forces are acting on the surface of the earth and due to both these kind of the movements or forces the changes on the surface of the earth are causing the forces which are acting inside or in the interior of the earth are called as exogenic forces oh, sorry uh, it is endogenic forces so all the forces which are acting inside the earth or interior of the earth are called as endogenic forces or all the forces that are acting on uh, the surface of the earth are called as exogenic exogenic forces so these two names are given on the basis of interior as well as uh, as they are uh, acting interior of the earth and therefore they are endogenic forces and the forces these are which are acting on the outer part of the earth or on the exo uh, or on the surface of the earth they are called as the exo exogenic forces so earth movements are categorized here and in this uh small tree diagram of evolution of landform how the landforms are evolving or how the landforms are forming on the surface of the earth uh, this is explained here with the help of evolution uh, figure number 3.1 evolution of landform here you can see earth movements two kind of movements are there one is endogenic forces and another one is exogenic forces this two kind of forces are causing the change so what kind of changes or what are the things that are taking place due to the endogenic forces endogenic forces are causing uh, are these are the sudden forces and uh, there are some uh, diastrophic forces now what kind of things are forming uh, on the surface of the earth with the endogenic forces that we are going to see the endogenic forces are of two types sudden forces and diastrophic forces uh, sudden forces means which uh, forces means which are taking the place suddenly on the surface of the earth and these are uh, our sudden forces are causing earthquakes volcano landslide so the sudden forces are causing earthquake volcano and landslide on the surface of the earth 
and the dryostrophic forces are building the mountains on the surface of the earth for example diastrophic fo diastrophic forces uh, uh, have caused the formation of the uh, very important ranges of the uh, mountainous ranges of the earth that are that is called as the himalayan ranges so the himalayan ranges have formed from the diastrophic forces and the himalayan mountains have also built from such kind of diastrophic forces so the all the uh, outer part uh, all the uh, most of the mountains like the andes alps or uh, the himalayan mountains have formed from the diastrophic forces which cause the building of the mountain on the surface of the earth now we are going to see exogenic forces what kind of things are forming because of the exogenic forces that we are going to see here due to exogenic forces on the surface of the earth the erosional as well as depositional activity starts erosion means what erosion means which cut the upper surface of the earth due to river due to water ice or wind so all the exogenic forces are causing erosion with the help of water wind and the ice when this all the material is getting eroded or cut on the surface of the earth it goes somewhere and when it goes somewhere it start to deposit so due to exogenic forces the two things are happening that is erosion of the upper surface of the land and when this eroded material goes somewhere it is getting deposited so erosion and deposition both these kind of things are forming the different kind of landforms now uh what what are causing the erosion as well as deposition the first one is river wind sea waves glaciers that means water wind uh again the work of the water in the ocean and ice that means glaciers these are causing the changes on the earth Uh, on the upper part of the uh, upper surface of the earth and therefore they are called exogenic forces and these exogenic forces are erosion and deposition and these forces are causing by the river means water wind and ice that are river wind sea waves and glaciers in this way the we can say the exogenic forces are taking place on the surface of the earth now here we are going to see in the glossary that what is lithospheric plates the earth's crust consists of several large and some small rigid irregularly shaped plates that are called slabs also which carry continents and the ocean floors so the lithospheric plates are broken in several parts the large part of this lithospheric plate is called as the large plates and some of the small rigid um, irregularly shaped plate slabs are there and these are forming the continents and ocean some of the lithospheric plates are on the surface of the earth and some of them are inside the ocean floor so in this way there are some things we have understood from this in the next period we are going to see the further part that how the endogenic and exogenic forces are causing the changes on the surface of the earth till then thank you very much